Subscribe to this YouTube channel and please enjoy watching this video, here we go. Chelsea were condemned to a 2-1 defeat in their trip to Molyneux against Wolverhampton Wanderers as Mario Lamina and Matt Doherty's second-half strikes were the difference makers in the Premier League affair. It marked Mauricio Pochettino's eighth loss in the Premier League this season as they enter Christmas Day in 10th spot, level on points with Wolves. It's a situation that the Blues would rather not be in, but given their struggles up top and at the back, it will be all to play for as they enter the new year with a respectable 2023-24 finish high on the agenda. One of the positives for the visiting side was that Christopher Nkunku made his Premier League bow and looked extremely bright, even grabbing himself a debut goal upon his substitution. Sterling Moore dead down the right flank as he looked to lead his side to a hard-fought draw, at least. His inviting cross was met by the Frenchman, unmarked, as he defty guided a header into the bottom left corner. It seemed as if it was game on at Wolves' stomping ground, but Gary O'Neill's side steadied the ship and held out for a brilliant 2-1 victory. Mkunku's introduction spruced Chelsea into life as they looked to earn themselves a win from the Premier League encounter, but it was to no avail. With Raheem Sterling missing such an opportune chance in the first half to propel his side ahead, those associated with the West Londoners will look back on his effort and the result, glumly. Sterling's first half miss proves costly. The Englishman squandered chance to put Chelsea ahead. The Englishman, who was Chelsea's bright spark throughout, was through on goal in the 33rd minute as he looked to put his side ahead. Jose Sa played a hospital ball into the feet of Todi Gomez, despite the Brazilian being under heaps of pressure from Sterling behind him. Sterling nicked the ball and bared down on goal, with both Cole Palmer and Nicholas Jackson patiently waiting for a squared pass for a chance at an open net. Instead of opting for an infield pass for either teammate, Sterling had his eye on goal. His attempt was thwarted by Wolves goalkeeper Saw, who spread himself to make a vital one on one stop to keep it level at 0 to 0. Whether his chance would have guaranteed a victory for the Capital Club is another question, but one thing is for certain. Pochettino's side would have been much more settled and in control of the game had he decided to set up one of his eagerly waiting teammates in the middle. Lamina and Doherty on target to seal three points for Wolves. Both goals were scored in the second half of the game. In a contest in which both sides yielded a flurry of chances, it was Lamina who popped up early in the second half to grab an opener. Throughout the fixture, the hosts were consistently a threat from set-piece situations and, in the 51st minute, they ensured to take advantage of their dominance. Pablo Sarabia swung in a deep corner kick, one which Lamina duly met to lead Jorge Petrovic hapless in net. The Gabon international notched his third Premier League goal of the campaign with his headed effort as Molyneux erupted in jubilation. Chelsea, admittedly, grew into the game after Lamina's opener but were unable to disrupt the stubborn defensive setup of the home side. Matt Doherty, who replaced Mateusz Cunha in the 86th minute, doubled their advantage in the third minute of stoppage time as the defender latched onto a fluffed Benoit Batishal clearance. Diverted into the path of the Irishman, Doherty steadied himself before sliding a side-footed effort past Petrovic. Team News Gary O'Neill made two changes to the Wolves' team beaten at West Ham. Jose Sa returned in goal while Ryan Aitnori was fit to start with Jean Rickner Belgard dropping out. Christopher Nkunku had to wait for his first Premier League start as Armando Brojo was given the nod up front for Chelsea. Leslie Yugachukwu came into midfield. Next up for Wolves is an away test at Brentford on Wednesday, December 27, while Chelsea host London rivals Crystal Palace to Stamford Bridge on the same day. Both sides will be looking to gain three points in their respective outings to boost their chances of a respectable finish in 2024. Let us know what you think about the entire thing in the comments section below. Additionally, stay tuned and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest news and updates from around the world. We sign out.